Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Four Type Make You Loco channel. Uh, today I want to talk about something a little bit different. I want to talk about how to avoid getting scammed by these third party resellers on eBay and even Amazon that are selling counterfeit Ford parts. More specifically, motorcraft parts. This generally occurs on maintenance items, so think air filters, uh, fuel filters, and spark plugs and coils, especially. Okay, this is generally only a motorcraft issue. Uh, we really don't see it with the Ford, what they call blue box products. Think about it, no one's gonna stamp out a radiator core support and then uh, try to resell it online. It's just not a market for it. Whereas these basic maintenance items, they can take a cheap aftermarket part, throw it into a Ford uh, packaging, and they can sell it for big bucks. For example, you see these two right here? Two DG511 coils. They look the same, don't they? Well, one of them is a genuine OEM and the other one's a deep fake, okay? A real deep fake and I'm gonna point out all the differences in the packaging and the product itself so you guys do not get scammed I'm also gonna list down below the known good uh, third-party resellers on Amazon that I know have used and I trust uh, to provide genuine Ford parts at a really good online price I do not trust anybody on eBay for Ford uh, genuine parts okay so we're gonna go to the bench here. We're gonna show you up close what to look for. Once we get into it a little bit, it's gonna kind of just blow your mind. Uh, and you're gonna see, this is very obvious, a deep fake, uh, whereas the other one is genuine OEM. Once you know what to look for, it's pretty easy to spot. Let's go to it. All right, here we go. I think you guys are gonna like this one. So today we're just gonna concentrate on counterfeit coils and counterfeit spark plugs because these two are the most common out there in the marketplace. Not to mention, these are the ones that I had the really good examples of the deep fake counterfeit products that are out there, the good uh, counterfeits, I guess you can call them, that are really hard to tell unless you know exactly what you're looking for. But the same basic principles and the checks apply to the packaging and the products inside uh, for all motorcraft items out there. So let's go ahead and start off with the spark plugs, okay? So spark plugs, this is, looks, probably looks very familiar to you. If you're a Ford nut, you've probably seen Ford spark plugs come in these packages for many, many years. I'm guessing around 2000 to 2016 is how long Ford used this product packaging, this exact product packaging on here. So if you have a fake, a counterfeit, especially now in 2020, it's probably going to come in the old style packaging like you see here. It's not a guarantee because there could be instances of old uh, old stock someone's trying to get rid of. Uh, but it is one of those things. The first thing you see when you pull it out of the packaging uh, from the shipper, it's a red flag right away. It's old style packaging. It's four years old at this point uh, from the last time they used it. Why am I still receiving the old style packaging? So the new style packaging looks a little bit like this. This is how it looks from around 2016 to current day. So it's much brighter, it's much cleaner, it's much more modern look. And this applies to the Motorcraft bagged products also. So this is how it's gonna look from around 2016 on. And uh, they're just now starting to fake these out. They're start, starting to see fakes of the new style packaging now. It took them a couple of years to get it rolling on their assembly line, I guess. All right, so let's take a look at these two boxes right here. So the first thing that I noticed receiving these just a few months ago uh, is that these are two different spark plug numbers, okay? This spark plug number is from the old, this is the old spark plug number for the Ford 5.4 liter three valve engine, okay? So this one could easily come in an old box like this, okay? No, no sweat. So that wasn't a red flag, but this one over here which is the counterfeit, was an SP546. Well, that came out around 2016, 2017. That's the latest and greatest spark plug for the 543 valve that just came out. I would say 2017 some time. So why is it coming in the old packaging, especially you know here in 2020, 2019 when I, I purchased these? So that's all red flags right there just because I have such... Uh, intimate knowledge with the 543 valve working on them day in, day out. So those those things right there struck me at first. Then you start looking at the finer details, okay? So again, this is the counterfeit box, and this is a genuine OEM Motorcraft box, okay? 
So the lettering on here, yeah, it's a little bit different. Bold over here, much much thinner font over here. But there's, there can be variances in the stamping on there. Uh, but that is something to note. The other thing to notice on here is you see on the genuine OEM box, you get this gradient shadowing effect on here. How it kind of bleeds out to red. You see that? How it bleeds out over here? It's non-existent. Okay. Yeah, so that there, there's this, you just throw them in a the bench, you just look at them real quick, it'd be hard to discern which is which on there, okay? Uh, I don't know if I said it already or not, but uh, with these new spark plug boxes, we're starting to see more obvious mistakes with them. Uh, so they'll say for spark plug, for spark plug, not for spark plugs, plural, okay? So that's another thing to watch out for. We've seen that also. All right, so since these are different spark plugs, okay, uh, we're going to concentrate on this one being the fake. This is the latest and greatest design spark plug for the uh, 543 valve. Let's compare it to a real uh, SP546, okay? We'll get this one out of here, and we'll pull the fake out of this box right here. Now, the inside packaging, you know, it's going to be a little harder to discern if it's fake or not. You know, I mean, it is the old-style packaging, so that is a red flag, like I said, but... um. The outside box is what you would want to really concentrate on. Okay, so this is the fake. Uh, we're going to bring you a little bit closer for this kind of stuff. We're going to point stuff out on here. Now, this one right here is a genuine Ford product right here. Same spark plug number. SP546, genuine. And then this one's the SP546 counterfeit. So let's go ahead and zoom you in. See if I can get you guys. Oh, this camera is so nice. All right. So up top here, you can see the tip of the electrode on here. The center electrode is a different color. That's the first thing you notice on here. Not a big thing. The big thing, though, is the coloring right here. See how on the fake right here, it's really dark. There's a real high contrast on here. It might get smeared on here, too, uh, looking where it's not, you know, kind of fuzzy looking. Uh, but the big thing is you see how it's this, this, this high contrast, dark, deep black against the white porcelain behind it, okay? The ceramic. And so then the other one here, where's it at? This is the OEM, okay? And you can see the lettering on here. Yes, this is an OEM that's like a, like a gray almost. It's almost like grayed out on there. It's never usually anywhere near this dark. I mean, you see how blocky and almost like inky and uh, uh, just messy that looks compared to the other one? You can see it on there. Okay, so if you have these side by side, um, you're looking up at the jam nut here and the seat and all that stuff, everything looks fine. But then you start getting over to the electrode on here and you'll see obvious differences, okay? So the first thing, because these new spark plugs have these welded on straps in the SP546 is you'll notice the welds on the Motorcraft plug have a definite change in color from the welding process on there. And it's a little bit thicker. Uh, whereas these ones almost look like they use something else on there to actually weld it on there. You see it on there? Totally different. Right there and there. And then there's there's other variances in the heat range. You see how much the porcelain's sticking out on there and stuff like that. And even if you really look, you can see on the what is this one? The fake plug down here, uh, the center electrode sticking out much further further, anyways, uh, than the other one over here on the genuine plug. So there's all kinds of differences like that. But the biggest one being like on these 546s is, is how the the ground strap. Uh, the full ground strip on there is actually welded on. You can see it's much, uh, I would say, almost sloppier on the Motorcraft ones looking, um, but it's definitely much thicker. And then you can see the change in color from the heating effect when it was actually welded onto there. And here's another good view of these. You can see the difference on here. Let me get uh, another plug. What are these? These are 515s. These are an old style uh, plug that you guys just saw in the old style packaging, uh, but these are genuine. So let's look at these two for another example and just to show it is common across there. So you can see the color of the center electrode there and you can see how it's like a gray printing on there for the motor craft. It looks nice and clean uh, for everything on there. Okay. So that is another difference on there for sure.
All right, moving on to ignition coils. Now, ignition coils are probably the most copied or counterfeited uh, product in the Motorcraft lineup because they are so easy to copy. There's such such an abundance of cheap coils that are out there that they can just throw inside these bags and they can turn around and make a huge profit on because these coils are not cheap. And of course, the part they're putting in there is dirt cheap. So these are the ones that are most, most common. So look at these two bags here. Um, it's hard to tell which one is counterfeit, okay? It's really hard to tell. I don't want to say exact uh, copy print on here. I mean, I can't even tell. I mean, they look really, really good on there. These were what I would call deep fakes, okay? Really high quality counterfeit products. The one thing though, again, it's 2020. Why are we still using the old style packaging on it? This is the old style motorcraft packaging. Like I, like I said, was used from 2000 around 2016. Around 2016 or so uh, to today, this is the new style bagged packaging. Again, much brighter and cleaner. And if you're ordering something from a, a high volume a store online, four years later, we should be getting this style packaging, no sweat, okay? That's, that's, that's probably the biggest reason manufacturers change packaging over the years is so that they can, uh, you know, get rid of these fakes that are out there and kind of throw them off. Now, the one big item, uh, the one, one of the easiest ways to tell a bagged, I, bagged motorcraft item is fake is by the absence of relief holes in the very bottom of the bag. Each corner is going to have a hole in it, like someone, like someone took a, a punch on your tickets, and that's to get, allow air to come out so these bags don't get poofy on the shelf. It's better to store, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the very first thing, is these are hard to tell, right? You can't tell? Well, just pick it up, look at the bottom of the bag, in that corner, and look for that relief. See that relief right there? It's like someone punched a hole in it. Yeah, that right there tells me that it's a genuine Ford product, okay? You go to the counterfeit over here, looks just fine, brand new coil inside, and there'll be no reliefs in there on both sides. That's the easiest way to tell. For whatever reason, these counterfeiters, over all these years, they never bothered with uh, going forward and actually punching these holes in here um, to make it exactly the same. So that's the one guaranteed indicator on there. The OEMs will have holes punched and the counterfeits won't. So let's go ahead and open these up. We'll put them right on top of the bags here so we can tell which is which. And we'll show you. Now this one right here is what I would consider... Uh, you know, uh, a really good fake. Okay, it's, it's be hard to tell. They didn't copy everything, though, even on the coil itself. All right, so we're going to get rid of the packaging. It's a little too hard to see in the background there. And then we're going to zoom you in. And this is why I'm going to... Uh, this In a second here, you're going to see why I call these uh, deep fakes or high-quality fakes. Okay, so starting at the top, okay... Top of the coil. Top of the coil here. Top of the coil. What Ford does with their coils is on top they'll have a date code on there or a plant code or whatever. That's the bottom code on here. But up top here, there's always going to be a part number on there. But it's going to be um, the engineering number. So let's say the part number for this is like 3L3Z, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is the engineering number. 3L3E is an engineering number. Well, they copied that just fine. But you can see uh, the coloring and, of course, how bright it is is definitely different on there. That's It's very obvious, okay? The other thing you'll notice, and I'll show you here in a second from a, a poorly made counterfeit, is that uh, the reinforcement ring right here, where it mounts up to the, the valve cover, is going to be a silver ring, like this. You can see they copied that just fine, okay? Uh, but then on the epoxy, on the epoxy on poorly made coils that are rebranded Motorcraft, the epoxy will come flush with the top here. You can see this one's countersunk just a little bit, just like the Motorcraft one. So again, this is a really good, I've called a deep fake. Uh, then there's smaller differences, okay? 
Um, the, the other big thing is is the plastic on here. The plastic and the fake want to be shiny like this, whereas the uh, Motorcraft want to be more dull. And I think that's because of the glass reinforcing fibers in there, which makes them really strong. Uh, it's, there's some reasons, different kind of plastic that Ford uses that's obviously more expensive. Uh, so the, uh, the counterfeits will be um, much shinier like this all the time. Guaranteed. Okay, this one's close though. It's close. Now the other thing is that every Ford coil unplugged like this, there's going to be a paint mark, a metallic paint mark, silver or gold or whatever, across the top here where it plugs in, either here or across here on the back side. You can see the counterfeit does not have that. Yeah, so you start looking at these little differences. And then there's usually differences down here underneath the webbing inside of here. Um, and you'll see that the name might be a little bit different on there if they even printed it on there. Uh, but this one is a really good fake, so it's, it's really close. Uh, now the coil boot, again, looks almost like the same exact one. It's very, very close. But you look at the spring on here, all the factory springs not only protrude like this, so they get full contact with the center electrode on the spark plug when they go down in there, but they'll also be greased. See that grease is coming off of there? So you look at this one right here, and this one has a dull appearance to it, just like the Motorcraft one on the metal. So that, that's why I say it's a really good fake, but the Motorcraft will have grease like that, and they'll be protruding out like that. This one does not. So those are all real good indicators, okay? You just look at it, uh, maybe compare them side by side, but the paint mark is the big thing you're looking for, that paint mark on there, and then the epoxy being recessed on there. If it's not recessed, then it's an issue. It's definitely fake. The other thing is, again, the part number is going to be an engineering number. Not a motorcraft number, not a, a, a Ford service number. It's going to be an engineering number. So you can see this one, I mean, it's a really good fake. The metal up here, everything. And they, But there's certain items like the spring and the paint mark and then the numbers uh, that are just obvious that it's a fake. Now this one, by contrast, with everything you just learned, is a poorly made fake. So you can see the, the housing of it is really shiny. Really shiny, okay? It's that really cheap plastic. Also, the insert looks like it's brass on there. No paint mark at all on this side or this side, okay? And then there's usually differences down here, right here, and even down here in the webbing and stuff like that, okay? And then there, there's the epoxy. Again, a lot of them will be filled all the way across, flush. This one's recessed a little bit. But the big thing you see is this right here. Get a good angle there. So they made two screw-ups on here. So first off, they put Motorcraft, which Ford does not do. Then they put the Motorcraft short number, DG511. Ford does not do that. Then they used the real... Uh, service part number, the long number, Ford long number, 3L3Z12029 is the base for a coil, and then BA for the suffix. So they screwed up three different ways on the printing up here on top of the coil. That's why I said this was a very poor fake, uh, whereas the other ones are really, really good, what I call a deep fake. Then you come down to the boot on here. It's a standard black boot. It's definitely nowhere near the other one's style and quality. Okay, it's got more of a gray style. And then the spring in here is that really shiny, like, zinc coating on there. Uh, and it does not have any grease on it. The Ford coils, like I said, always have grease on them. So there's a lot of obvious faults on this one. Um, but, yeah, this is a poor fake. This is a real one. And then this one, let me see here if I get them all three together. This one on the right is a deep fake. Yeah. So you can see that on there. Yeah, the center one is the Ford one, yeah. So you can see how close these two are compared to this one over here. That's a, a really poorly made fake. And there you have it, counterfeit products out in the open market. Uh, yeah, it's a real issue out there. So much of an issue that Ford actually has a whole task force assigned to going after these resellers and eventually the kingpin, I guess you could say, of these people that are making these counterfeit motorcraft products using their name, their trademarks, and their brand name uh, and selling them as 
quality Ford products when actually they're much, much lower quality inferior products. Um, so yeah, you can see that some of the products are obvious. It's not right. You can look at the product and then you got in hand, you look at the one in the car and it doesn't look right. You cross reference to a video like this or some pictures online, it doesn't look right. But then some of the other ones are really high quality fakes, what I would call deep fakes. Uh, and they're, they're harder to tell unless you have something to really cross reference them to. Again, I'll put everything down below to the, the Ford Task Force information down below. And of course the resellers, the third party resellers I use online uh, to actually buy these products from that I know based on me checking them and ordering throughout the years that they are selling genuine Ford products. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.